Spondylolisthesis is a condition that is commonly associated with lower back pain. It's one of the more severe causes of lower back pain and really if we were going to categorize it compared to say a more common herniated disc or bulging disc, it would be something that is more severe. And to understand it a little bit more, we want to understand what it actually is. Well, it refers to the slippage of one vertebral block over the other. And if we think about it, the integrity of our spine requires that all of the bones, as you can see just over my shoulder here, all of those bones are lined up properly. And that allows force to transmit down and up the spine. If, however, those bones slide forwards or backwards, this is when a spondylolisthesis occurs, and it should not do this, which is why it's more severe in terms of the diagnosis, if you will. And we grade these spondylolisthesis, and we call them antro, meaning it slides forwards, and we call them retro, meaning it slides backwards. Generally speaking, retro is going to be self-limiting and they're not going to be as severe, but antrolisthesis can be graded one to four. And that basically is a statement of how severe it is. One, two, one and two being sort of it slid um, 25 to half way along the vertebra, and then three and four being the remaining part, all the way to four being the vertebra literally are off like so on one another and that creates real issues. Now we'll get into the causes of this in the next one so make sure you stay tuned but fundamentally the, the severe variations of spondylolisthesis they are very rare in a clinical environment when we're talking about osteopaths, chiropractors, physios. Those more severe variations you're going to be going straight into A&E or something like that they may be associated with a car accident, some sort of trauma that's happened which has, has really impacted your body in a significant way. We have to understand that our bodies are miraculous, they're very, very durable, they're very, very strong. And therefore, for those sorts of things to happen, it does require quite often a extraordinary or extraordinary set of circumstances. So most of you with this sort of diagnosis are going to be in that grade one, grade two category. And then in the next video, we're gonna talk a little bit about how that comes about. Because although it is, as I said, more serious, there are some really positive silver linings we can take from this diagnosis. Fundamentally, because nine times out of 10, you had that diagnosis of a spondylolisthesis long before you had back pain, which is really important. We'll pick up on that in future videos.